seem like it was too much for him just getting in the flow with this dude. Now the thing about Justin is he, he uh, he's he's a confident player. So for a freshman, one thing I learned about recruiting city guards, whether it's Kenny Satterfield years ago or Justin Jennifer from a great basketball city like Baltimore. Justin was the number one ranked player in the country as a seventh grader, so he's not afraid. The stage doesn't phase him at all. Uh, so his thumbs bother him, but he still he played through it today. So what you saw today, we saw in recruiting, and uh, I just think, yeah, you know, what happens you get a little bit older, your ranking goes down because you, you quit growing. He's, you know, he's so small, but no substitute for quickness. No substitute for quickness. I know you've seen it in practice, but for the fans you saw today, what would you say the identity is of this offense on this team this year? Well, we're trying to, we're really trying to embrace the assist. That's our big thing. Uh, higher assist, fewer turnovers. If we share the ball, we're going to be fine. Uh, if anything, last year we were so new, so young, that uh, it was hard to get everybody in the right spot. Our three freshmen are very cerebral players, so we, we play offense more like a veteran team. It's allowed us to do more early uh, early on, so we just got to make sure we keep sharing the ball. We're going to be fine. Anybody stood out to you today? Uh, you know, I watched the film. I think uh, uh, the, the red team missed a lot of open shots early, and that's really the only reason they were down, because they weren't turning the ball over. Uh, obviously, as a coach, uh, I'm always going to think our, our defense uh, on the ball has got a little bit, got to get a little bit better. But uh, for the most part, I was happy with everything except I think we got to do a better job of getting Corey and Octavius some more low post touches. How did you feel to be back in front of fans for the first time since? Oh, you know, hey, hey I, like I say, I, I'll say this in every press conference when asked about my situation. I'm happy for every day I have when I'm healthy. And uh, when you go through what I went through, you're, you're just you're so much more in tune to the things that happen to other people and uh, you know you feel for them and I'm just appreciative that I'm healthy and it's great to be back out here but uh, I don't tell you anything. I don't take it for granted. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's practice. I day, I'm day by day. Corey looks much more assertive, much more strong in the post. What do you see out there? Well, Corey's just in better shape. He, he's 260 instead of 290. Wow. We just got to get him the ball down low. Wow. But it, his shot blocking, his mobility is much better. And, and uh, I think you're going to see a, a guy that's going to impact our entire season. Where he did it in Sparks last year, he's, he's going to have a huge impact for us all year this year. So you see today what we were talking about yesterday a little bit? Yeah, I man, Shaq's put in the work. And, uh, you know, you can see a guy that's out there, and he, he hears that clock tick, and he's never been as focused as he is. And you, can see, you can just see how, how aggressive he's trying to be. You obviously try to get better every time you take the field. What were your expectations coming into today? Same in this situation. I mean, did you see what you wanted to see? Did you like what you wanted? Yeah, I was glad that I thought we played with discipline. See, I, you can't win games without discipline. John Chaney's one of my heroes. He said that many, many times. So you you got to have discipline. I didn't want to get a, see us get in front of fans and start playing without discipline. Uh, I thought the guys tried to do what we do today instead of what they did in the summertime. You know, we say we have a saying, do us, don't do you. And we were, they were trying to do what Cincinnati teaches and preaches today. Uh, obviously, we got to get a lot better. It was good for us to run up and down. Though, but we, the guys, for the most part, try to do what we're teaching them, try to play as a team. So I was really happy. Got to be happy with fan support and how many came out and, and showed you guys some That no, was great. I've been trying for years to coordinate a scrimmage on the same day as homecoming. But sometimes when they give you a noon football games, it's, it's tough to do it. So we finally got that 4:30 football game where we could we could double up and, and do the scrimmage. We'll, be, we would do we'll do it every year if if we can. Got to be great having all the former guys back as well. Oh, absolutely. So it, 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 and it's they're, they're going to be here when it when it all the homecoming figures and, at this time. So a lot a lot of guys gain weight behind me. Some of those former players. <laughs> I'm a, I got to mess with some guys. <laughs> okay. But just just Jennifer does. Does that just make you more excited to have more flexibility at the point guard position? Well, it, it, it makes me think I was smart to recruit him. <laughs> now, you, you, whenever you got a guy that's, that can break down a defense, it's a weapon yeah. in any sport. Definitely. And it's, it's a weapon. And just get, getting him to learn when to be aggressive and when to just throw the ball inside uh, and pick his spots. That's a big adjustment for him, and, and I thought he did a great job with that today. Because in high school, he could just go in there whenever he wanted. He's playing against bigger people now, so learning to control his quickness uh, and play with discipline with the ball. Can't have great pass, five great passes and six bad passes. So he kept his turnovers out today.
Jacob looked maybe a little anxious early, but settled in in the second half. Well, I think, you know what, the red team, Jacob and Kevin, they, they, they had a lot of open shots that just didn't go down for them early. Uh, Jacob's got to learn. What, he, what I try to teach him all the time. Around first of all, he's a great passer. But around the rim, you got to finish with power and strength and two hands. At least when you're playing against a team like us, you're going to get your shot blocked. You're going to get it challenged. I thought he missed some chippies, but uh, this is good. This is how he's going to learn. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.